What is going on guys? Kevin over at Legros coming back to you with another video today. All Star Wars. One pound, eight ounces of Star Wars. $337. Man, Star Wars has come up a lot since. <laughs> Go ahead and check out some of my old videos and see what I was getting uh, for the money. Granted, things weren't selling as high either. Uh, but this hopefully is a nice solid bag of Star Wars figs for some restocks that we can do. Stores.ebay.com slash Legros where you can find most of this stuff. Link down below in the description for all sorts of things like whatnot, where you can get up to $200 credit. Most of the time you get $10 credit, but uh, you can get up to $200 credit. Just sign up using my link, make an account, buy something, and then boom. Randomly generated credit. Usually 10 bucks. I also get a kickback of the same, which is awesome. Great way to support the channel if you want to support me. And a cool platform as well uh, for certain things. Let's take a look at what's in here. This, can, this could be some some interesting things. Uh, we got plenty of stuff to look at over here. <laughs> Let's take a look at this bag first. Why don't we take a look at this bag and see what this bag holds? Because there's some interesting things. I have no idea what this is starting off. But this is a dark red cape, which is fantastic. Love to see that. Kylo Ren capes. Yep, we will take that up to the ting pile. Uh, these are old brown capes. Obviously not in great condition, but that's what you're going to find when you have old brown. These things are so old, it's crazy. Uh, I was hoping that was just a yellow cape, but this is like a gold yellow cape. So unfortunately, that's going to be a bummer. Another Kylo Ren one, though. We'll take that. Another Kylo Ren. We'll take that. Three Kylo Rens, to, to be honest. Uh, I think this one is a waist cape for Alfred, maybe, uh, which I actually just found. So if that's, if that's that, <laughs> sweet. <laughs> oh, we know what this goes to, unless they made another fig that that goes to. That is dark brown Luminara right there. That is the only one I think can think of that uses that dark brown spongy cape. No idea what that one is. And another brown one. And another, well, not another, but a uh, brown Boba Fett um, cape slash pauldron thing. I don't know what you want to call it. What do you call those on Mandalorians? Are they still capes? They're only on one shoulder, but I think they're still capes. I don't know. <laughs> Let's get this guy out of the way who's got some R2-D2 ears. Uh, this is Han Solo Brickhead. I'm not sure what the value of that is. No idea. Don't do any Brickheads. So, you know, that happens. Ooh, there's some cool stuff in here. Hopefully there is because... Oh, 337 that's actually not bad that's not bad this is an uncracked ezra torso and that's how we're gonna start the day thank you very much uncracked ezra Whew. beautiful beautiful here is a atsd pilot with the goggles which i think is a better form of him still not quite a ting but he is a good fig right there uh we have just regular chewbacca here is a uh, darth maul had to think about his name for a second there uh that's a great version of him as well who do we have here? Speaking of Darth Maul, we have Darth Maul. <laughs> Even the old versions are actually pretty good. I just sell them like hotcakes. Can't keep them in stock. Of course, we're going to have a lot of Chewies. Uh, we would hope to have misprint Chewies, but these all look like they are doing just fine. Uh, this guy actually sells very well as well. He's only like five bucks, but I sell him very, very quickly. This one is always really surprising to me. This is Han Solo from the Tidarium set, from the Endor set. It's the only set he comes in. It's his only Endor outfit. I don't, they think they might have remade one recently. Um, but uh, this is the only time he's come in an Endor suit and he's not valuable. And I, it just baffles me every single time that he's not super, super valuable. The, uh, the Leia from this set is great. Uh, the, of course, the Rex and the Commando, which we were hoping are in here as well, are great. Uh, and, you know, I'm not sure what's going on with this one. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what happens there. I'm going to put him there just so you guys can think about that. Maybe you can give me an answer down below in the comments. Uh, no cracks on here either. That's a misprint, is it? Is that a misprinted Phase 2 Gree? Did we just hit the jackpot? Uh, I don't have another helmet. Oh, no. I don't have another Gree helmet to compare to. Maybe we'll get another one... I have a whole bunch of Gree bodies. No Phase 2 Gree helmets to compare to. Maybe we'll get another one in here. That looks low, though. Here, let me take a look. Uh, actually, let's just so we can show you guys. Let's take a look on uh, BrickLink here real quick and see if it's going to load. That would be fun. Gree. That's got to be low, right? It's got to be low. It looks so weird. 
Uh, let's look for the gray one. Yep. Yep. Low. I mean, it's only like a millimeter, <laughs> but to be honest, it makes it look totally goofy. <laughs> well, that's a score. That became, I don't know how much that one's worth, but uh, dang, that could be i don't know i've seen misprints go for like 200 bucks plus so that would really be helpful for paying off this lot that is for sure did not know that was in here uh there's a set of arc legs always fun to hit star wars isn't it and newt gunray uh we also have some r2d2s and some astromechs right here let's just pull these guys out of the pile right here just because they're taking up space and we know what they're all worth <laughs> we know what all these guys are worth tough cells tough cells right there uh selling in bulk or something like that do what you can <laughs> <laughs> this one actually is not bad. That's the R2 that you want right there. That's the old silver uh, R2. So that one's actually pretty decent, to be honest. Uh, all right. Let's, ooh, look at this guy. Missing his visor. I think I do have one of those. That's the original Hoth Rebel, which is a fantastic fig as well. Uh, if we can get the visor for him. Speaking of fantastic, we have Cad Bane. We were expecting that, weren't we? <laughs> it's always so sad because the prints are absolutely beautiful. No cracks or scratches. And then the side is just... Poof exploded he's got some old brown legs which he's not supposed to have there either we'll be able to use some pieces of him though Qui-Gon Jinn is pretty much good in every form that he does uh this one unfortunately is a fakety fake fake from the gunship uh or not gunship from the um the Gungan sub uh, I saw the cape and that was a dead giveaway that that one was unfortunately a fakety fakety fake uh, which is no good. We don't like that. We don't like no pickety fakes. Uh, look at this old brown cape. That is in great condition. A little crease there, but uh, we will probably take that off and use it on somebody more useful than an old Obi. Look at that cape. Whew, that's a great one. Uh, we have the pointed mouth Captain Phasma with spear and blaster already. Man, this one is really good too. This haul is shaping up to be absolutely fantastic. Let's move this stuff up a little bit. We got a little bit more camera room there. Uh was that the new one? Wait. Why does that look weird? I don't have to look that up. <laughs> I don't look that up. That actually could be a really, really, really good astromech. Uh, we have Plo Koon here. He is not cracked. Excellent. Excellent. I will take not cracked Plo Koon any day of the week. Another new gun ray right here. Uh, that is not his face, but he is pretty happy about being a pilot. Uh, there's another pilot. We have a Senate Commando. This guy looks fake as well, which he feels fake. Yep, and looks fake. That is not great right there. Fakes, man. Tell you what, they're infiltrating. We got old school Tatooine Luke with the long hair. Here is a Special Forces clone, and we just need to replace the legs on this guy, and he will be a Tingaroo right there. And let's see what else. These actually, I think, are pretty good. They're like the Stab Speeder bottoms i believe but that piece actually might be somewhat valuable the clear version of that uh my daughter's favorite astromech one of her favorite colors in the, like teal light blue color uh so that one's actually pretty cool that one might be pretty valuable we'll put him into research i haven't sold him in a, in a fair bit uh as well he sells very quickly and then i don't get him very often so uh this is not his head or helmet nor his head. That is a Brave Isla head. Uh, but that is an A-Wing, one of the new versions of the A-Wing pilot, which uh, I'm going to have to research that one too. Uh, speaking of little tiny pieces, look at this. Some clone pieces. Some, I guess these aren't valuable anymore because they come in the, uh, um, like the new battle packs. Uh, this one, I think, is Anakin, I want to say. We'll put the Brave Isla head up here anyway. Uh, it comes in a couple different things. It's not always previous. I think that's Anakin, but we're going to put that in research as well. If you guys have any help for me, always put it in the comments. I know I'm going to look it up and, you know, it's kind of whatever. But I like for you guys to be interactive, you know, to be engaged. It's fun when you can help me as well. Some of which I don't remember to look up. And then your guys' help actually does really help me in the end. Put Plo Koon's head back on there uh, and he'll be good to go. Previous does not want to chill. <laughs> He's like, no, he has zero chill. That's a fake hair piece, but it is a real Han. Uh, which is kind of an interesting dynamic. wonder if we're going to run into a fake on now. Uh, there's an Ambaran and a clone. There is a Zotaxian, because he might as well be space, right? Space, Star Wars. Look at these capes. Oh, my God. You know how hard it is to find good old brown capes? That is Qui-Gon Jinn. Uh, and here is his hair that is not 
cracked or bent. That is fantastic as well. He's very minimal, bottom line ting. Um, I think he is like exactly $15, but uh, that cape, we're gonna put him up there just for the cape. Some Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and some Clone Pilot. Uh, we put the other torso up there, so I, nah, nah, he's already down there. He's in the dumpster already. <laughs> there is a uh, green astromech, which is awesome. We have a Han Solo and a Death Watch Mando. Always got to remove all the heads for these things. Most of them actually look pretty correct. This guy's got full armor, though. We're actually just going to take this off because this clone is all beat up. Uh, and it was just a clone gunner. What did I do? How did I how did I do the things? There we go. Clone armor is a ting on its own, I would say, at this point. The gray clone armor. There's a captain of the rocket droid variety. Another new gun ray. Man, we got lots of new gun rays. The original phase two gunner has come down quite a bit in value now that the new phase two gunner is out, but it's still a great fig. Nothing here. That's just an AT-AT pilot. We have Zori Bliss here as well. Missed opportunity for making that one a valuable fig, unfortunately. Uh, just a First Order soldier, or a commander. We have Clone Wars Ahsoka. All versions of Ahsoka heading up as the show is out now. That astromech, I believe, is pretty decent as well. It's not the R5 unit, the red, white, and blue one, but it is, I think, somewhat valuable. Anakin was tra testing his uh, race car abilities there. Got a snow trooper, and this one, unfortunately, has some marking. Not too bad. Eh, the head probably needs to be replaced. Uh, that could be a good astromech there as well. Uh, speaking of astromechs, we got a bunch of R2s and the red and silver astromech as well. The heck happened to this guy? BB to the back of the head. That's, uh, that ain't great. That ain't great. Ooh, that one's cool. Bounty Hunter without the helmet. He's just hanging out with his beanie today. No cracks or anything like that. Great figure right there. Just sold that guy the other day as well. Ooh, oh, just saw them both. <laughs> I was going to say, might have Rex too. There they are. The special commando from the Tidarium. And we have Endor Rex from the Tidarium as well, which has skyrocketed. Once people realized that it was Rex, they were like, oh, okay. <laughs> but is it Rex? I don't know. I don't know. You tell me. Uh, Anakin with the old brown helmet. Ooh, if this was smooth hair, can you imagine? This one is the right version, though. Man, that could have been smooth hair Leia. Uh, in unfortunately, it's uh, it's not. <laughs> more new gun rays and uh, more snow troopers. What else do we have here? That one is not a Mandalorian. I believe that is Darth Maul. Why does that look like Luke Skywalker? I think it's Darth Maul. Is it Luke Skywalker? That, that might be Luke Skywalker. That's why it looks like it. <laughs> we have Rose in her First Order outfit. No idea what this is trying to be, but it is fake as all get out. That is uh, Sassy Teen's head print and a helmet that actually is real. So that's good. That I'm not sure where they were going with that one. Uh, but we'll put it over there. <laughs> we'll put it over there for right now. Another good astromech. Look at these cool astromechs that we're getting here. Uh, there's another old gray pilot. Lots of old gray pilots. Look at all these guys. We got Dak Router. We got Luke Skywalker. We got, uh, I think that's Dutch Vander's helmet, I want to say. That's also a helmet that's special, and so is that. But I always have to remember who they are, and so is that. Um, some old, old school pilots theme of this one is old uh this one's value is up 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 because it is most re resembling the one that we saw in ahsoka i believe so that is now in ting status this version of anakin with the printed legs right there and leia we got all of them from the tidarium look at that way better than han way better than han <laughs> don't know why don't ask me. Uh, there's old school Padawan Obi-Wan. Or is it Anakin? I always get these two confused. I think it might be Obi-Wan. Uh, look at the capes. Oh my goodness. Look at the capes. Look at the capes. There's another one. Look at that. Boom. Boom. Times two. Uh, the Clone Wars Anakin is just never going to be valuable. He was in too many sets to be valuable, that's for sure. Okay, so now we can compare. They are different. This is definitely the updated version I will have to take a look at that now. That's the one that's not very valuable. Uh, we do have Jar Jar Binks, of course, and the Root Beer Astromech is what I like to call that guy. And we also have a... I just grabbed his helmet and I was looking for his... Never mind, that's not his helmet. That's a regular Stormtrooper. Uh, I thought it was the other guy. There's a Clone Trooper. 
You know it's good when clone troopers are going in there. Clone trooper pilot as well. That one's going to go up to the tippy top. And we have a... There's another clone pilot. I think these guys fly the arcs, right? Uh, phase 3... Or sorry, phase... Episode 3 clone trooper. U-wing pilot. That one's not bad either. We have BB-9E, which is a cool one. You don't see that one very often. I think they only made it in that one set, to be honest. Uh, more clones and uh, drivers slash pilots slash things. Here is Cad Bane's hat. That is a great find, as we can now replace him to make a full figure. He's come down quite a bit after the new Cad Bane. I'm surprised that the um, the small hat version of Cad Bane seems to be rising quite quickly. Another clone and also the Rogue One Stormtrooper helmet right there uh, to go along with another one of these guys. Uh, another type of clone pilot. There's a Darksaber for some reason. Old school Jar Jar right there. We got another Death Watch. We got another one of these. Uh-oh. <laughs> the regs are taking over. Uh, what else we got here? Luke Skywalker from Hoth Wampa Cave. We got some Buzz Droid pieces right here. Another one of those Astromechs. <laughs> it's close. Uh, he shoots. <laughs> it is close. It is close. That's not what it's supposed to look like, but that is uh, old school Obi-Wan. Uh, Grievous firing from the hip right there. And uh, that's an old school Grievous that's that's going up there. Doesn't have his cape, unfortunately, but that's okay. Snowtrooper and Yoda. We have little kid Anakin. I think this helmet goes to him. Is this the crazy... No, that's not the crazy face version. I'm pretty sure that's an Anakin helmet, if I'm not mistaken. I'm going to put it up there just so I remember to look at it uh, and see if it's Anakin. We have one of those crazy solo dogs. Here is the olive skin Yoda. That one's pretty good. Chirut Ermway's bow, even though we don't even see a Chirut Ermway in here, which is kind of interesting. We got Dio, the most pointless droid in the universe. Uh, let's see. For some reason, we have some, like, Lord of the Rings spears here, which is, I mean... I'll take it. We also have some Massage Ventress Sabres, which is great. There's just a bunch of Astromechs. Ooh, look what we found. Look what we found. The brown visor. Needs a backpack, but we will make that fig. He, I believe, is out of stock right now in my store, so he will be in stock by the time you're seeing this. <clears throat> just that easy. <laughs> it's... It's that easy. These are all droids and blasters and all sorts of fun. Uh, there's a Tuscan <coughs> Raider in there as well. This is the top of the best droid, I believe. Bzz. That's not how they look. <clears throat> I don't think that's how they look. I don't think those go together. <laughs> Maybe? Do they redo the bus droid? I don't know. Some more clone armor right there. And, uh, well, the claw of the face. Nothing else, I don't think. But, uh, boy, did we get enough. Ooh. Fake. <laughs> Ooh, fake. Ah, uh, That's a bummer. I knew their print was too good. <laughs> I knew the print was too good. Some cool battle droids, like the, uh, red commander there. Um, another solid red one. One of those two is better than the other, but I don't remember which one it is. This guy's got the back plate as well. That's really cool. That's neat. Uh, really old stuff. Old Star old, old Star Wars is great. Not all of them are great, but a lot of them are great. Uh, there's some more clone pieces right there. Oh, look at this. I didn't even see. Oh, times two. Whoa, times three. Hold the phone. Times four. These better be real. I'm going to be real sad. I did not see those. You guys have been yelling at me in the comments. I know it. Four Dooku Sabres. <sighs> They're fake. <sighs> Wait, that one's fake. That one is real, as we can see right there. Okay, wait, wait. <laughs> All hope is not lost. This one is fake. I felt that when I was like, mm. this one is real. Okay. Okay. We're halfway there. This one looks fake. 50, 50. All right. Well, that ain't bad. <laughs> I'll take two of them. That's fine with me. Uh, they are so rare nowadays, just Chrome hilts in general, but Chrome, uh, Dooku hilts, especially Whew. real good there. Anyways, comment below your favorite. Love you guys. What a great haul today. This was fantastic. Oh, we were going to look up the, uh, the astromech. Hold on. I owe it to you guys. We gotta look up the astromech, and I owe it to you. Let's go, uh, oh, actually, let's do it on the phone. Let's do it on the phone so you guys can see. 
Uh, I was going to do it on the computer, but you guys can't see that. I could be all fancy and like, you know, edit it and stuff like that, but that ain't me. <laughs> One take does the trick. That ain't me with the editing and everything. I tried it at one point. A lot of people were like, why are you doing this? Uh, it's probably because I was terrible at it, but um, a lot of people thought it was distracting. So I just kind of stopped, you know, didn't want to, didn't want to do the, do the things that make people upset. Um, is this just the large dot version? This might be just be the large large dot version. I think that's that guy. Yeah, uh, versus the small dot version. I was thinking it was this one. I think that's why I got confused. But this large dot version. Oh yes, yeah, right underneath. So small dots is this one we got right here. Yeah, small dots is that guy. And then the large dots, see the difference in value here. Eh, it is a pretty big difference in value. The large red dots actually is quite a bit more valuable uh, and might be thing status. We'll see. We shall see. He was from the X-Wing. Oh, he was from the one that um, the molded Luke uh, came from. We didn't see this guy in here though. Biggs Darklighter was in there with Luke. Interesting. Anyways, love you guys. Thank you very much for spending 21 minutes of your life. I'll catch you on the next one.